uh, we as mental health professionals, we cannot change the prognostication, right? Which means we cannot change the lifespan or being there with someone in the journey and helping them go through it peacefully. These are all very, very rewarding uh, aspects of this particular job. So uh, psycho-oncology is a subspeciality of cancer, which is oncology, and super speciality of uh, mental health, psychology. So when I say super speciality, so one, uh, we do a uh, graduation level, which is the BSc or BA in psychology, and then we do a master's. And after that, there comes a super speciality, like, you know, the specifically you're focusing on one area. Right. So super speciality of uh, mental health and subspeciality of cancer. And when I say subspeciality, uh, the cancer uh, requires multiple lines of treatment, multiple types of treatment, which is surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, uh, nuclear medicine is there, um, targeted therapies are there. Then there is one speciality, subspeciality that comes in is called psychoncology. So we deal specifically with cancer patients. So the one can actually doesn't have to necessarily take science after class 10 into the humanities, right? Because psychology is a, is a subject of humanities. It doesn't require science. But if someone has studied uh, science in the class 11th and 12th, that's any day, you know, going to be a, a plus point for that. But those who do not have, uh, do not want to opt sciences as in class 11th and 12th still can pursue psychology. After that, there is a graduation, which is the three three years or four years uh, degree. Again, there is two types. One is a honors psychology honors that you exclusively only study psychology or you know uh, majors, triple majors, double majors. And then there is a uh, other way, other pathway, which is you do a graduation with psychology as one of your subjects. One doesn't need to go through the MBBS or that pathway. Because if one does the MBBS, they can actually go for the MD psychiatry or DM psychiatry. And uh, then also they can actually opt the psycho-oncology aspect uh, of it. Like I said, it's a super speciality. But that way, they will be more, they will have the uh, authority to write. They will have the license to prescribe the medication because that will be a psychiatry aspect of it, right? They are two very different things. Right. So okay. fellowship is like you're doing a diploma. It is like, you know, you're doing another, it's a different program. Internship is much needed uh, because when we talk about psychology, it's like I said, it's more of a practical right. knowledge and you be in the field and you learn. So internship is a mandatory as part of your degree. Uh, fellowship is not mandatory. It's your choice. You want to go for it. But these are two very different things. They are not to be mixed up. Uh, you know, effective communication, compassion, authenticity, trust, right? Uh, confidentiality, and non-judgmental approach, things like that. So these are probably few, uh, some of them can be the personal traits, but others, those we feel that I do not have that, I do not have, uh, you know, the effective communication skills that can anyways, any day be learned. So this can be acquired. So hospital-based, most people start their practice in a, hosp uh, in a hospital based uh, institution. So the day usually starts with the rounds, which is our going to the patient's uh, wards, if it is the rooms, it, you know, uh, accompanying with the uh, oncologist, be it a surgical oncologist or medical oncologist, radiation oncologist. So it is a rounds, not alone. It's a round with the medical team. So you accompany them and during the rounds, during their what rounds and when the doctor is seeing you understand what might be the psychosocial issues. We do not do any intervention at that point of time, but we just are observing at that point of time, like what might be the uh, concern and what, you know, who may, who we, uh, we might require to go back and see. So that's when also the doctors uh, make the reference. They, they advise and they take like, you know, it's a, uh, we take advice, we give advice, like uh, on the patient care. Usually we also uh, indulge in a lot of uh, education and training. So like 
we have interns, we do train, we help them understand what the things are. Research activities is a major part of it. Uh, we do indulge in a lot of uh, research activities and I think that's how the day passes. Documentation is something that we uh, really, you know, uh, focus on because it needs to be documented and we need to understand to create the evidence, of course. So it's a multidisciplinary approach. We work with other oncologists, they work with us and uh, that's how we go on. It's a niche field. Uh, it's been when we started, when I started my job, we were a uh, single digit number was there, like less than 10 people practicing in the country. Now the number is increasing with the more uh, probably the awareness and uh, more demand. So when you ask about the demand, uh, I'll tell you, we at present, we have 484 comprehensive cancer center, which means the places, the hospitals, we exclusively provide cancer treatment, which has surgery, radiation, uh, chemotherapy, nuclear medication, and etc. So in every 484 institution, if we have one person, right? So I'm sure those institutions are not at least less than 100 beds, which is 100 patients a hospital. How many people are required in one hospital as a psycho-oncologist, right? We have 484 and the demand by 2025 is to have 680, okay, to increase it by 680. What is the uh, job uh, requirement? What is the demand of the people who are trained in this? It's huge. Also, uh, second part of it is uh, if you don't work in a cancer center, uh, you know, leaving that, the cancer incidence is increasing year by year by at least 10% every year, right? How are we going to match up with that? So all those people, and I think all of us know at least one or two people who have been diagnosed or are diagnosed or getting treatment or have lost someone with cancer. How are we going to match up with those statistics? So we, of course, need more experts. We need more awareness. Uh, the demand is actually huge. Policy making, you can do research, you can create evidence. There's a huge, you know, it's a, it's a huge this thing. 